go. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> it's been a while. How have you been? I've Terrible. seen. I, yeah, I've seen. I've seen you've grown up so much since last month. I know. <laughs> I feel yo, wild, yo, yo, guys, y'all guys, like y'all guys were like babies, and now you, you're like a month old. I know. <laughs> All right, but yeah. Uh, uh, so usually we have an excuse on why we didn't do episodes, but not really this time. I went on vacation for two weeks, I, and no one wants to do a podcast without me for some reason. Because you're the only one that talks. <laughs> That's true. I'll give him that. <laughs> but, I'll talk. Yeah, and uh, I'll I have talk, no talk. clue why we didn't just do one last week. I actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of didn't happen. Yeah, it just, just didn't cross our minds. <laughs> All right. Is but, this a book thing podcast, guys? No, no, no. We we we've established a new rule after the fail podcast. No more mukbangs. Only people that were there get that joke. <laughs> That's quite unfortunate. Although 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 Laris has given me a new mukbang channel name, Lunch with LP. <laughs> All right. Lunch with LP. Uh. So before we do anything, uh, I guess we should address the elephant in the room. Well, not really, but yes. In case you did not know, some uh, stuff has happened in the Veggie Tales. You know, you know, s- Pelanthra. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that's a real word or not. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, right, but but uh, yeah. Um, we are gonna make a video about it right after this, and I'm gonna try to post it right before this, so it's probably already out by now. You guys have probably already seen it, but if not, it's definitely going to be out by Sunday. Sunday, so I can promise you guys. What's the elephant? Yeah, uh, we won't we won't talk about it. Okay, I, I think everyone in the community knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> especially me. Yeah. Yes. Especially Junior Boy. <laughs> probably. Wait, so let me get this straight. So there's an elephant. In Veggie Tales, okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, make logic. Yeah, logic makes sense. <laughs> All right, but that's not what we're gonna talk about today. Today we're gonna be talking about a character tier list. Junior Boy gave us the idea to talk about Veggie Tale villains, and I was like, let's take that a step further and then do a character tier list. So over here, oh, that's spoilers for later in the episode. But here's the tier list. <laughs> so as you can see here, we got all of our like famous characters. Um, weird order, but whatever. Uh. But um, we also have like a few like side characters that are pretty famous. So I think this was this is a good tier list, but it's not crazy. Junior Boy said there was one with like a hundred characters that would take us oh, forever. No. Also, bonus What's points. That video going out? I don't know. To be fair, it took us like an hour to get through all the episodes. So who would even know what would go for the characters? But yeah, I just feel like you know. It's weird. The characters never really get talked about as much as, like, episodes. It's kind of weird. I guess because you just assume that we love all the characters, which is very false. But we'll get to that when we get to there. <laughs> also, bonus points for this tier list for having an E tier. <laughs> In fact, should we name the tiers? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright. So, S tier is going to be Laris and Friends characters. As in, characters that should be in Laris and Friends, but we can't put them in there. <laughs> A okay. tier, A A tier means great, but no, 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 fresh. There, they're fresh. They're fresh vegetables. Right. In fact, for that logic, yes, content. There yeah, we go. Yes, and so uh, for that logic, F has to be rotten. <laughs> <laughs> and so E, just throw it out in the woods. and so E just means uh, empty. <laughs> yeah. Very empty characters. Nobody really knows what they are. <laughs> Uh, B tier is I don't even know silly fun oh, I don't even know silly fun <laughs> yeah okay. yeah it's very silly fun characters uh C tier is just who cares yeah <laughs> yeah who cares <laughs> okay. and then and then D tier is just uh Donald 
pathetic. I don't know. Yeah, no, D tier is just Donald uh, Duck. There. Yeah. All right. Donald Duck. This yeah, is our tier list. Daphne. Yeah, it's true. It's actually Daphne. It's true. <laughs> All right. All right, so yeah, very weird order. Uh, Bob is not even to, like, the fifth character, and Larry's, like, halfway through here, so we'll see how this goes. Oh. Also, there's Who two... about the order? <laughs> That's true. All right. So our first character up here is Annie. Uh, I have no comment. <laughs> Anyone else want to say Annie anything? Annie the Onion. <laughs> yes, Annie the Annie. Onion. Annie. Uh, fun fact is actually based off of Phil's daughter. In fact, Annie's parents is actually Phil and Lisa Vischer as vegetables. I thought Annie was an orphan. No. She might play. Yeah, she, she, she might play movie. orphans in like episodes, but like no, like in her first appearance in Madame Blueberry, she was a, uh, she was a kid with parents. Oh wait, isn't she the one that has like the parents that look like Phil? Yeah. And Mike and uh, Link, I mean, that's that what like I Phil just said. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she, I just she said. She's saying like the. Uh, yeah, the thankfulness what's song. What's it called? The, yes. Yeah, the thankfulness song. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. A, yes. Uh, yeah, I know what she is now. All right. Always uh, thinking about three times. Probably uh, a yes. here. Yeah, I yeah, very empty character. I don't really have much to say. I have no clue why they put them for. Yeah. She's pretty much just Laura. Yeah, but <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Bro. All right, next up we have Archibald. Hmm. Hey, Archibald. Hey. Hello to that. Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Archibald is great, hey Archibald. but he's not, you know, you know, you know, uh, top tier material. If we're talking about '90s Archibald, I'd say D tier. True. Never, <laughs> never forget when he canceled he silly be, songs. He has to be high tier though, because he announces the silly song, so he has to be high tier. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. If Wait, we, who does? does? You see, in the episode of Big River Rescue, it is confirmed that he doesn't. <laughs> have you heard of this? Is that the Miranda Ball? Yes. <laughs> Even though he thought he did. Then who does announce it? It, silly song announcer. That's his name. In fact, if you look in the credits, it's literally How it's called. How he literally announced it in his cheeseburger? He, he announced it in his cheeseburger. Didn't nope, he? nope. It was silly song announcer. Wait, no, it was silly song announcer. <laughs> if you look in the credits of most what? episodes, Archibald and silly song announcer are two different people. But how come like he literally announced it in his cheeseburger? He did. It's he the did. Beginning of his cheeseburger, he announced it. Yes, yes, yes. It showed him announcing it. Yes, technically yes. He did come up and say silly songs were canceled, but no, he did. He wasn't the guy that said now it's time for love songs with Mr. Lunt. Very different. Oh yeah, so that's another guy that's never shown. Yes. Maybe that's his brother. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe it's Scallion One. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. Maybe. That's what I've been thinking too. Yeah, that's that's a very interesting theory. What if Scallion One is Archibald? <laughs> Veggie well, tail conspiracy theorists be that. like. <laughs> that's not even the first time I've heard that theory. Really? In fact, I've met people that thought that it, they were the same character. Yeah. Well, 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 well Mike did. That's, man, this is like my Mike third did. fun fact within like the last three minutes. But yeah, when uh they did the Wizard of Oz, uh, I think was it Scallion? No, Archibald was was the wizard and uh. When Mike saw it, he thought it was Scallion number one. <laughs> I don't really blame him. They kind of look the same. Yeah. Silly Mike. All right. So next we have the Bad Apple. Good, I good villain. Uh, no, not a good really? villain. Yeah. Hey, the Bad Apple hence his name F tier. It's bad. I'm gonna be honest. There, there's better villains. I'm not really, yeah. you know. He's not really I, menacing. That's the problem. She's not. Well, well that's, that's what I kind of like. What I kind of like, you know, you know, you know, it's, it's not just oh, I must destroy everything in my path. It's 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 more it's more of just like more motivation, more. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I kind of understand. I would never say anything like close like S tier, but I I I'd say silly fun tier. Okay, lost the wires. Fair. Wait, which one is silly fun tier? Again? That's gonna be A tier, or no B tier. I'm sorry. B? Yeah, B tier. B tier. Yeah. 
B for bad apple. We're just we're just ranking this by the, the first character. <laughs> all right, but next all right, all right, all right, all right, we got a problem with this philosophy. We have Madam Blueberry, but no M tier. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Matt. But yeah, but yeah, seriously, Madam. Blue- I, I just say I'm, I think Madam Blueberry is kind of mid. Sure, kind of. Yeah. I mean, she's arguably B tier, but it depends because she's kind of like annoying at the same time. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I say, uh, and all that. I say, uh, who cares tier? True. Like, I can live without Madame Blueberry being in VeggieTales, to be honest with you. True. But I... she did, she did DM us, though, or she did follow us. Didn't right. she follow our Twitter? That's, that's true, that's she true. Did. She does have to go for another tier for following our Twitter. Silly fun. You're right. Silly <laughs> fun time. I almost, I almost would put them in S tier, but I can't do that with a right conscience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just put her a tier above what we would normally tier her, just because she right. followed us on Twitter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Bob the Tomato. Oh wait, I just realized I misspelled rotten. I put an M instead of an N. Whoops. All right, there we go. B for, B for Bob. Ah. Uh, I- <laughs> I I'd, I'd honestly I'd I'd say he's pretty fresh. I wouldn't say he's S tier because you know he is kind of like more boring and sophisticated yeah, of the pair, but, wary, but boring. Yeah, so I'd say fresh. As, as the bot would say, he's Bob the Boomer because he's boring. <laughs> 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 All right. Next up, we have. Man, I was so he's F tier. <laughs> All right. All right. Next up, we have Buzzsaw Louie. Uh, really? Yeah, he is a pretty he's a pretty cool toy. But also, what what is this thing made for? You know, it's definitely not for kids. And what yeah, adult and what honest, adult would want it? A buzzsaw. A saw. Right, but like he's still a toy. You can just buy a real buzzsaw. I mean, like, like would, I saw that one coming, but you know. Yeah. But like, you don't want your kid near this thing. Uh, <laughs> so who is this made for? The toy, the toy is made for kids three and up. <laughs> Nowadays. Uh, nah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, Buster Luke could make probably make a decent YouTube kids career. I'll be honest. <laughs> Buster Luke making YouTube, YouTube kids. Now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest. YouTube kids is not YouTube kids. Also, we should be considered a weapon. Nope says. True. Yeah, y'all are gonna have to read Nope's comments because I'm on the tier list. All right. But yeah, so I don't even know. Like, but saw Louis. I uh, just. It goes. Who cares? Am I for me? I'd say empty. Just nothing. You know, we haven't put anyone empty. in. Yeah. We haven't put anyone in, in D tier yet. Donald Duck tier, just because it's just a weird tier name. I'm grabbing my bottle of salt. <laughs> so, 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 so I'd, I'd agree that's a pretty nice average between. <laughs> because I cannot put Buzzsaw Louie in S tier. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, I forgot. S minus. That's better. <laughs> I just made Junior Boy happy. We'll put him in Who Cares tier. We'll move one tier up. Yeah, who cares? I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Franken Celery or Phil Winkelstein. Duh. He literally only has like one purpose, and that is just to tell Junior, "Hey, look, I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm not a monster." I think he's also. Why do I rate him? He's only been in like, a f- like. I think that's. I mean, officially only... wise, he's been in one episode. Right. Yeah. Now he has, you know, you know, done like cameos, and he and he's part of like the band with the Scallions, but like we don't really see much. So like. I really, you know, I think you know, he's an empty character. I agree. Yeah, if Annie's empty, then this guy is empty. 
I, I think Annie probably no, has so more. No, Sarah isn't that memorable. Yeah, I think Annie honestly has more character development than this guy. He literally, <laughs> <laughs> all he does is like, I'm not a monster. <laughs> I. Right. <laughs> So next up we have Dad Asparagus. Yeah, good father. Uh, That's all I can say. Just good father. <laughs> he fainted three times. True. I say he's silly fun. I agree. Yeah, he's silly fun. He's a good, he's a good dad, but he's you know not that great of a character. <laughs> Alright, next up is the Fib. The Fib, I would say he's 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 pretty cool. He's pretty fresh. That's a lie. It's true. Yeah, he yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty you, you know, I can I really I can't put many minor characters in S tier. Except for one, but we'll get to him. <laughs> and I have an argument for him. Fib is not S tier. But yeah, yeah, no, I can't put the Fib in S tier. At right. least A or B. Yeah. We'll we'll put we'll put him in fresh. Well, no, I can't put him in the same tier as Bob and Archibald. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Cause see, cause see, now he's now they're with the bad apple. All right. Uh, now we have Goliath. He's been like what two episodes? He was in. He was in. Uh. Dave, and then I think he was in one of the compilations. And that was about it. And I'm not counting Veggie Tales. I'm not I th- yeah, I, th- I think he's pr- I think he's pretty good, but yeah, n- nothing special. I agree with you. We'll put him in. Who cares? Yeah. All right. So, for some reason, there's two P's. I guess they're supposed to be John Claude and Philippe, but like. They're on opposite ends, and to me, I think they should go together. They should both go in different voices. Yeah, I Who guess. Cares? Yeah, Where? but they're pretty much the same. You know, John, Claude, uh, Philippe, Kristoff, whatever, they're all the same. Alright, but where should we put them? Where is your rhythm? Yeah, Who like. Who cares? Who cares, yeah. No, no. I mean, I like them. They're good characters, but I think I think they were funny in their first appearance. I think. Was, I, was I, that Josh the Big Wall? No, that was a uh, Dave the Giant Pickle. Well, technically, their first was Rack Shack and Benny, but they weren't really French until until you know. Uh, That's hard to tell. Dave. It was hard to tell back then. Yeah. So we got. So I'll say silly fun. What do y'all think? Silly fun peas. I like it. Yes, yeah, silly fun. Wee wee. We are bees. All right, Link, are you there? He's gone. Oh, he left. Darn it! All right, all right, all right. It's time to rank his hero. We have Jimmy and Jerry. <laughs> nope, sir. In my opinion, French peas were were best in Josh. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with like the whole Monty Python thing. They Not were. Not joke. On like. See, out of all seriousness, Jimmy and Jerry are actually pretty good. Yeah, I like them. I, I think I'd put them with Bob and Archibald up there in Fresh. Fresh forwards. I mean, I'm fine with either A or B. Yeah. I mean, I think they're pretty one-dimensional. Yeah, like, I think I'm gonna put Jerry, Jerry, show. one tier under Jimmy just because you know he's a lot. He's just basically just like the. The friend that doesn't have any personality other than Jimmy. <laughs> wow. Lit- lit- literally, all he tries to be is just Jimmy 2.0. Get your own personality, Jerry. <laughs> so, nope, said Jimmy and Jerry are good characters. I liked when they impersonated Bob and Larry and King George. Yeah, that was probably their best role. That was their best moment, in my opinion, as characters. <laughs> all the one true, true, and, true, and Jerry's most, like, personality is when he yells, you want a piece of me? <laughs> True. Alright, so we I'm got... i for a fight. Yeah. And so we got, uh, Junior next. Uh, D. Donald I, uh, 
I think, okay, like, this is through the context of, you know, the character himself. Like, he's supposed to be the character that children can reflect on. Does that mean that every moment he's in is perfect? No. <laughs> no. I but, think this profile pic shows uh, everything. True. True, yeah. I think I think for kids, he's an S tier. But, like, yeah, but, like, he definitely has his annoying moments. So we're going to put him in fresh. He's pretty fresh. What do you think, Mr. was my favorite character when I was younger. Why won't he let me go up? There we go. Alright. Alright, next up we have Khalil. I'm sorry, guys. Khalil's a stereotype. I'm sorry. <laughs> Khalil's lame. That's literally... Khalil is just... How's he lame? He's just... I don't know. Nothing he says is funny. He's a stereotype, but not a funny stereotype. He's just... Stereotype of what? Hispanics. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's so obvious. But he raps in belly buttons. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Was good yes. And stuff. he's yeah. Okay. Okay. I will say belly buttons like a shining moment. But like in the Jonah movie, he is like the most boring character. And unless you think about it in the context that Khalil is God, which I do believe this theory. <laughs> That act, as crazy as that sounds, that act, that theory that Khalil is the god in Jonah actually makes a lot more sense than it actually sounds. But like, really, he is just—I don't know. I've just never really liked his character. Uh, I'm not gonna—I'm not gonna put him in in rotten just because of belly button. I'm gonna put him in empty. What do y'all guys think? Sure. No. Okay. What do you think, Laris? I think it should go in at least two cares. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll all right. We need to put someone in D tier, so we'll, we'll, we'll average it out. Or Donald Duck. Yeah. Yes. We have not put anyone in S or or F tier yet. Which, which speaking of that, next up we have Larry Boy. S tier. Oh, oh, F. Okay. Now, if K I was younger, S. younger, I would have said S tier. All right. But then, let me tell you a little story. I might have told this story before. I can't even remember. Oh, no, I'll probably tell you. the most controversial tier list I've ever heard of. All right. <laughs> let me tell Okay. So, I used to go to children's church, and they would play VeggieTales because they were awesome, okay? And one week it was Yay. Larry Boy, okay? <laughs> and these words that my teacher told me has scarred me for life. Kids, have you realized that Larry Boy really didn't do anything and it was up to Junior to save the day? Ever since then, I have been th considering everything I ever thought, everything I ever believed in. It made me question my existence. And it made me realize, Larry Boy is just, just the average superhero with an amazing theme song. But never gonna have an S tier. <laughs> Now, I will put him in S tier, but I will stand by the fact that I think that he really only deserves to go in either Silly Fun or Who Cares. Because he does have a great battle with the Rumor Weed, and he does actually win the Bad Apple. But if we're talking about the Fib or the League, no, he does not deserve the right to have a theme song as epic. I mean, come on, Larry Boy can't be the 1v5. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I guess, but, like, in Fib, he literally does nothing, and then, like, you go to... I mean, at least Junior Boy, something like that. Yeah, the league. Yeah, Junior Boy. And then you get to oh. the league, and he's, like, the first one to get out. <laughs> and then has Junior save the day. Junior has saved... Junior's the... You know what? Junior deserves S tier. Junior has saved Larry Boy's butt more than he has. I'm sorry. I'm putting him in S tier. <laughs> like three or four times. Junior is the Junior's the true hero of Veggie Tales. I'm sorry. Get offended, Laris. <laughs> I am. Here comes the Laris rant. <laughs> if Larry Boy goes in S tier, Junior's going in S tier. All right, all right. How about this? Okay, fine. Put Larry Boy in B tier if that'll keep Junior lower. Fine. 
There. <laughs> nope, said no wonder why Junior became part of the league. True. True. All right, now, now we got Larry. All right, now what can you not like about Larry? He's cool. I'm he's here. funny. He's silly. Plus, he teaches good lessons. So, how can we put him anywhere else other than S tier? Unfunny, unsilly. Uh, we'll put him in the Ex- G tier. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bears? I said A tier. Do you not, do you not remember, remember, <laughs> remember that Larry is a god, according to the server of VeggieTales United? Great partner, by the way. But, <laughs> 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 yeah, of course he's S tier. Yes, he is S tier. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Weren't you the one arguing he was D tier? I don't S S tier though. Yeah, but we don't got S S tier. I think honestly, if you're a Larry and Friends character, you have the highest honor of anything. <laughs> hey, <sure. laughs> All right, next up we have Laura. Okay, I think Laura should just be Junior, but one tier down. That's all she is. True. Sure. Big idea, I right? See, she goes from a little kid to a to a stubborn teenager. Yeah. Like every single girl teenager in the world now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big idea. Make a good female character challenge. Fail. Wait. Never mind. They wrote Esther. I'm sorry. <laughs> Other than Esther, make a good char- female character challenge. Fail. <laughs> they just turn out to be sure, like just girl. like one step under their male counterparts. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Mom Asparagus. Okay, so they're going the same as wherever Dad Asparagus was. Yeah, I, nah, yeah. Dad's cooler. Nah, they're about the same. Yeah. Good, good mom. Uh, but the mom. How many times has Junior mom? Larry, Larry, do you have do you have something to say? Do you have something to say for what? 20 years from now when your mom finds this podcast? <laughs> yes. <laughs> were you, uh, were you actually... A... Say, <laughs> when she finds this podcast, I run. <laughs> Don't say a big idea is better at making female characters than Butch Hartman is. That's true, yep. Uh, Butch Hartman's female characters be like, boys. Okay, so our next character is Mr. Lunt. Yes, 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 yes. I knew that. Hot take: Mr. Lund is better than Larry. Yes. He is like the literally everything he does (laughs) is funny. He is what Khalil should be. Him existing is better. (laughs) That's true. Mr. Lund was a God-given gift to us. All right. Next up, we have Paw Grape. Now, Paw Grape deserves at least C tier just for creating the only funny VeggieTales meme. <laughs> he's a fruit. He's a fruit. F tier. <laughs> the only genuinely funny VeggieTales meme is what you have done has made God very unhappy. <laughs> this is uh, VeggieTales, not um, Fruity Tales. True. But yeah, uh, what do y'all think about Paw Grape? I actually don't know. I don't have a strong opinion. Silly fun. Silly fun? Yeah, he's silly fun. True. Come on, go go in there. There, there. Alright, perfect. Alright. The Peach. Alright? Now listen, okay? This is gonna sound stupid, but Peach deserves S tier. Now listen up, okay? Now listen, okay? Whoa. Okay, listen, alright? Think okay, about, we talk about again? the peach. All right. So here's why. Right, whatever. The peach has like what, like four or five lines throughout the whole series. Series. Okay. So how is he so iconic? That is the sign of a of an S tier character. When you only have so few lines and yet everybody knows your name. Like, come on, like, like if you go up to a party and say. The Buzzsaw Louie. No one's going to know who you're talking about. They're not a, the Veggie Tail nerd like me that just sits on their computer all day looking up Veggie Tales. No. But if you say the Peach, everybody knows that. That knows Veggie Tales knows the I'm the friendly IRS. 
and I've come to tax your. Wait, he wants my taxes, F tier. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, he is great, he is amazing, but I guess since Junior Boy says F, and I didn't work, that didn't work, but. Yeah, see, nope, nope, that's what I'm saying. The Peach is was in two of the greatest silly songs. He is in O Santa and. Yes. And uh, the hairbrush song. That was his first appearance. Oh, thanks for that hairbrush. Yeah. Alright, but what do y'all think? At least B tier. B tier. Alright, fine. I'll put him in A. <laughs> He's only officially made like three appearances. Right, but that's my point. He's only been in so few episodes, yet he's like. <laughs> like, everybody knows the Peach. But whatever. Alright. Petunia. Alright, uh, Petunia. The Rotten Tear has look, it's looking pretty empty right now. <laughs> Petunia's like Larry the. Larry would destroy you if yeah. you put her in F tier. Who? Larry. Yeah, true, but oh well. Petunia's like the epitome on why female vegetal characters are bad. <laughs> She's like. She is like. I hate that show. So F tier. Yeah, all she does is she's the damsel in distress. She has no character. She's just the character that exists. It's just. She has no personality. She's just there for so Larry can be a simp. It's just. Ugh. The, her only good okay, episodes. No, Oh yeah, her only two good episodes are the Minnesota Cuke episodes. I'll, I'll, she does a good job in that, but still, like, she is just, she's, she. <laughs> uh, all right, no, yeah, Nope says Petunia's just a generic love interest. Exactly, she's a Butch Harbin character. Just go in F tier. I hate you. Die. <laughs> all right, there. All right. Next up, we have the rumor weed. I think the rumor weed should go one tier above the fib. Just because yes. a lot more because she's a, she did a lot more stronger. So Agreed. yeah, so a tier. The highest female character we have is Weed. We have done so well as a society. It's already passed four twenty. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Scooter. Scooter's a who cares. Scooter, uh, Scooter's a who cares. Cares. How does he have more? Like five times as many lines as the Peach, and I cannot name one. Are you sure he's not just an underrated character? No, he's just. I can't even. I, he's, in Big River Rescue, he says, Oh no, that's Steve. He likes to bark when we chase things. That's like the only scooter line I only know. <laughs> I can think of right now. I, that's probably, he's been in a few episodes, though. I know, I know, I know he has, but. Episode count does not mean good. Petunia has been like in every, been like almost every episode since two thousand five. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, th I have no clue. I just scooters just like a who cares. But what do you guys think? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> who cares? Moving on. <laughs> All right, the scallions. Now, just like how I had to put Paul Grape in, um. Decent tier for the best vegetable meme. They they already don't. They already have a down. Pretty low for having one of the most overrated VeggieTales memes. <laughs> Let's see. We have an A tier. If you flip it upside down, like when they put Larry in the hole, mm -hmm. take out the line. It's okay. a V tier. Okay. So that's how bad it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're decent villains. I guess they're just empty. They're just. They don't really have much character. Empty. They're that, just the ones at this yeah, point. Yeah, like. they have good moments, but yes, I, yeah, I, 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 I yeah, yeah. Iconic. Nope, nope's right. They do have some really, really iconic moments. So I do have to put them up one tier. Tier. They're not really empty, so I'll put them up there with Khalil. All right. Next up. Right, how? Sense. How did? I have no clue how Mr. Nezer made it to the last three, but he here he is, Mr. Nezer. Like, like, how did he get before all these other characters? I mean, after. Uh, he's, a, he's a Mr. Beast. He has a lot of money. True. He owns, like, what, like, 50 factories by this point? Pretty much. Alright. I'd probably put him in... I'd say... He's, 
I'd say either silly, silly fun, fun or fresh. All right, silly fun. C tier. C tier. All right. Well, most of us said silly fun. So. <laughs> uh. All right. Of course, I'm always roll out. All right. All right. Next up. Next up, we have Quirty. Now. Quirty, you do nothing. F tier. What are you talking? Quirty sings the "What Have We Learned" song and gives the verses. If it weren't for Quirty, Quirty, we get. I, 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 I would, I would, I would know what. I never, I always forget like what the verses are. I know. Wait, Quirty sings the song. Are you sure not someone else? Yeah, that's true, but yeah, Quirty gives us the verses. Verses though. <laughs> okay, fine. Donald Verse, Duck. Verse is the verse. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Duck. But yeah, they don't they don't do much. Plus he can play Pong. <laughs> only only very huge visual fans get that joke. Alright. <laughs> Alright, last at least he has a recipe for meatloaf. True. But yeah, last but not least we have Gordon. Now Gordon goes in rotten because he's a bully and nobody likes bullies. True. Oh, that was short and sweet. F tier. Yeah, F tier. Yep. Nobody, nobody likes Gordon. All right. So, this is it. So the only two characters we have in S tier are Mr. Lunt and Larry. <laughs> and the only two characters we have in F tier are Petunia and Gordon. That sounds fair. <laughs> All right, Larry and Petunia, you better break up now. True. Well, some people say opposites <laughs> attract. <laughs> uh-huh. I guess Vegas Tales is just proof of that. <laughs> Yo, what's with people's shipping them, bro? I know, it's just... <laughs> I mean, who's Petunia's love interest? Ah. I don't know. Petunia would need, she like, would need, like, some, show. like, basic bro oh. if she was ever gonna actually... <laughs> she would need, like, some, like, surfer dude. <laughs> Maybe. So, uh, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a good relationship. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's about episode time. Yes, episode time. Burp, 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 burp. I don't even know why we call this episode of the week anymore because we're doing these like once a month. But episode of the week so is the month. yeah, it's a meaningful life. Life, a lesson in being content. So, oh, it's a meaningful misery. Hey, let's go. Yes, all right. So yeah, I will. I think I have a good bit to say about this episode. Cause like to me, this is like average. You know, not it has good parts and it has bad parts. But we'll. But first off, I guess we need to talk about the thing. But um, the animation is much better than Sweepy Beauty. I don't care how many of y'all defend this episode. Y'all cannot deny it. I, the animation is just slightly better. It's just this is a better episode than Sweepy Beauty, so therefore we look past that. But <laughs> it's kind of like it, but at least it's more better. Than yeah, it's it works. Yeah, it, yeah, it works. It works better in the other departments. <laughs> All right, but yeah, the story. So this is it's a wonderful life, but it has more of like a football take, which is kind of interesting. Kind of takes like a more, I love football. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, what what you think of the fo- the whole little football aspect of this? The Lions are going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's I say that every time I watch. Okay, it. okay, 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 like, okay, okay. So we need so we need to have a uh, important debate right now: Chicago Bears or Twin City Bears? Right, up, Chicago Bears. <laughs> All right, but yeah. Chicago. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, uh, man. They won the championship. When's the last time yeah. the Chicago Bears ever did that? <laughs> like four years ago. What? What? Uh, Hail Mary. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting confused with baseball. When the Cubs won like four or five years ago, the Bears did not. Yeah. Let's see. Chicago Bears. Last. Last. Super Bowl win. 1986. Twin City Bears wow. won in. Twin City Bears yeah, won in 2010. Awesome. So take that, <laughs> you deniers. 
plus Mr. Lunt was on the team, so. <laughs> He's the, uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think he was a lineman. Or no, he was on I defense. Was it's, yeah, it was, I, I, I mean, couldn't, I couldn't remember. Because I watched this as background noise, so I didn't really pay that much attention to what was going on in the scene. LP. Laris, you didn't even watch the episode. Don't even start. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in the background? Packing, because I was on vacation. Oh, yeah. And I lost my bag, so I was trying to find my bag. Back in the go on vacation and watch the Rams win the Super Bowl. Yeah, update. I found the bag. <laughs> but, but the episode was already over. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. But yeah, so. So yeah, so Larry feels a little sad because, you know. Because now Mr. Lunt is now like a celebrity. And like, he's a zero for some reason, even though he was part of the winning team, but. I mean. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, so now, so now, you know, he wants to know what his life would be like if he had only caught that football. And um, so basically, in a mean fly fashion, you know, it kind of takes that that different approach, and I I kind of like that approach. I think that's a really good way to take the story, you know, with the lesson, because I feel like that's something that we all ponder in our lives: is what would have happened if I would have done this in, in, instead of doing what I've done. I mean, trust me, I've I've been there, you know. There are times I've wondered what would happen if I continued, you know, playing sports instead of uh, writing for a career. Because <laughs> now I get stuck writing stuff about Laris and Link getting stuck in a treehouse. <laughs> when I could have been playing, being a center in high school. But like, but like, yeah, like I, th I think that's a really good message because you know it really does show like that God puts us in these places because he has a plan for our lives. But we'll get to the lesson when we get there, okay? But I think the story really does do that well. Well, uh, and this episode has some pretty funny jokes. Jokes, I'll have to admit. I especially like the... When Jimmy says, about every time the bell rings, a customer gets his wings. I never got that joke until I was, like, way older. <laughs> But it's hilarious. <laughs> but it was actually, but it's actually hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some good jokes. Good jokes in this episode. Episode. Uh, the songs. Some songs are good. Some songs aren't. That's just the 2010s for you. I could say that about almost any 2010s episode, except for Sweet Pea Beauty. All those songs are trash. Also, Princess and the Pop Star. <laughs> Princess and the Pop Star. Who whose idea is it to make those songs? I don't know. Hey, Phil the Peach liked them. <laughs> I I'm gonna have a conversation with him. Uh, I just gonna yeah. You know, pretty sure, pretty that. sure that's what he said. Phil, is that what you said? I know you listen to our podcast. Also, hi, we miss you. <laughs> could you please, could you please elaborate on your Incredibles review? Thank you. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. All right, but anyways, but anyways, uh, yes, no. Princess and the Potstar songs are like off-brand Hannah Montana and Taylor Swift songs. Exactly. It's almost like the, can we have Hannah Montana? No, we have Hannah Montana at home. <laughs> but anyways. Princess and the Pop Star songs are like off-brand off Hannah Montana and Taylor Swift songs. True. True. But yeah, anyways. uh, And so yeah, the songs are just, they're a mixed bag. I really like the ending song. I really like, oh no. Laris just told us, when there's a loud lawnmower outside your window, that stinks. Okay, so, but Laris really had nothing to say about the episode anyway, so, haha, -ha, troll. <laughs> but anyways, uh, but yeah, I really like the ending song. I really like the Down These Tracks, so anything the conductor sings, good song. Any any of the other songs, eh, they're fine. I don't hate them. Granted, I don't really hate many songs, it's really just 
you know, there are just some that if you asked me to tell the lyrics to a gun in my head, I couldn't tell you. The only song I think I genuinely hate is the BFF song. That's like the only song I can think of right now that I just genuinely think is awful. If anything, I'm just like, no, the song's just, eh, it's not that good, but I'm not offended by it. There's the instructions on how to listen to it. So you grab the tape, you put it in the fire pit, and you burn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So first you try pawning it, only to realize that no one will pie it. No one will pie it. Whoops. I can't talk. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the silly song. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is another silly song I genuinely hate. This one. <laughs> Junior is annoying. This song was the moment I was talking about when we got to Junior and why I could not put him in S tier. Don't tell me why. Don't tell me it's the... Yes, like, yes, Junior, yes. Though. Good night, Junior. Ugh. Terrible song. Worst silly song. Might True. be worse than BFF. How oh, dare you? No, it's not. How how is good night junior <laughs> worst silly song? Oh hey guys, look at our special hey. guest star Hoovia. Oh, yeah. Here on here again. here on the Veggieland Ooh. show. Yo. <laughs> it's time to Explain review to the episode. How that is the worst song. I want to know. Junior's like, annoying. Junior That's bad. all you need to know. All he's like is. Hey, can I get, can I get this? Okay, can I get this? 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 I can't. Okay, you know what? I'll give Junior this. He was a child. He didn't know any better. That's true. So I'll That's give true. An excuse. True. We all have no, our. Junior was. Yeah. A, Look. Junior was an idiotic child. Okay. I, yeah, I get it. We all have our <laughs> good. Yeah. Every every kid has their good night, Junior moment in life, but that does not mean we want to yeah. relive it. <laughs> no. And I made the call with Junior haters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't hate Junior at all. No, I no. Just, I also don't think that that song was the worst. Uh, at least, well, yeah, at least actually agrees with me for once. I feel like I feel like saying that song is the worst yeah. is like okay. saying... Yeah, I'll agree with that. that there like, are worse silly over. songs, but does that mean that... <laughs> but does oh, that yeah. justify the fact that song is bad? No. <laughs> Say nope. Says by Golden Egg, BFF, Goodnight Junior, Astounding Woods are easily the worst ones. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. See, see, nope. Even even just mentioned three worse silly songs than Goodnight. I don't know. I think I'd rather listen to if to Astonishing Wigs than Goodnight Junior. To be honest, maybe my Golden Egg. My Golden Egg wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't for just the horse lesson at the end. Uh, I will. The, I I I kind of got tired after. Uh, uh, tired of it after a while though because like well, when it came out my siblings were just going around like my golden egg yeah. has my name on it <laughs> and just like yeah. all day long oh, that yeah. song got stuck in everyone's head yeah it was like the next um, yeah, I, let it go yeah that's what, that's what I was about to say <laughs> <laughs> let it go yeah, Larry, everyone's favorite song. Let it go. Mr. Let Lunt, it sing go. it, sing and let it go, win. That's the next VeggieLand video. Let <laughs> me, it me, go. me, 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 and Mr. Lunt, sing and let it go. <laughs> <laughs> let it go. No. I can't do Mr. Lunt. I'll be trying to sing the let it go challenge. Hmm. I don't. I don't have a high enough voice. Oh yeah, then I could then explain. Um. The Light of Christmas. I don't want to have to deal with that wasn't that good. That wasn't good. Admit it. Yeah. <laughs> Why the <you> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I learned Saying a lot. Hi. I learned a lot of things that day. Number one, I cannot ever sing an Owl City song ever again. <laughs> number two. You? Number two. Sing, uh, number two. I will. I will never record a Veggie Tales cover again. <laughs> Number three, my singing Dude, voice will never be on the hard. internet again. Dude, it's it's not that hard. You would not believe your eyes. Ten you say that like it's five. easy, but you're not LP. You're who you? Not that hard. <laughs> no, yeah, yes, it is. That yes, hard. it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> some I people are just gifted with a beautiful voice, and some are just gifted with a subpar voice. <laughs> I, like I, I, have a, I, I have a, I have a subpar voice. All right, back to. Yeah, 
back to the episode. <laughs> nope, nope. Just Let's go listen. on about Owl City for the next, like, I don't know, like seven hours? Oh, you know that. Yes. Uh, so, Owl City. I forgot they existed. Yeah, they, they, they had... Them yeah, I uh, them. They're okay. Yeah, that, yeah they had a good... They had, I remember I loved their song for Wreck-It Ralph as a kid. That was good. And I, they, they did a really good cover. He did a really good cover of... Uh, in Christ see. Alone. Yeah. But I don't know if I've ever oh, heard... Honestly, I've never heard Fireflies. I don't... <laughs> other than, like, <laughs> parts of it. To be honest. Have you guys heard the Owl City remix of... Um, Jesus Freak? No, I have not. I've never heard of that. That sounds pretty yeah. awesome. So, that sounds so, pretty epic. So good. And then another one that is not as good is uh, Owl City did a remix actually like two, three, maybe four days ago. Oh, really? Of, I didn't know you were still making music. Um, it was of All Star. Oh. Wow, well, okay. Somebody. And it was just like. <laughs> it was like. They went crazy for the song All Star. Somebody right. won't. Oh, at the end of the day, LP is a better rapper. True. <laughs> I can I I can probably talk so fast that, that no one even know what I'm saying. I just sometimes start being nervous because that's all I can hear because I talk so fast. Woo! <laughs> He's devastating more than ever. Demonstrating. How do you? All right, all right, new, all right, guys... new Veggie Land challenge for anyone watching this live. <laughs> give me a <laughs> paragraph, anything, as long as it's within reason, and I will wrap it on the next episode <laughs> really fast. So yeah, if any of y'all are watching, you know the premiere, then please give me give me something, and I'll do it. All right, but yes, yeah, so let's finish the episode. Real quickly. Nope, said I'll make a beat for that rap. Bet. <laughs> Dude. So, uh, we're discussing a meaningful life, right? Yes. So, I I hear a lot of people say, I'm, I'm sure you guys have talked about this, but I just want to know your guys' opinion. Okay. I've heard a lot of people say, like, Oh my gosh, A Meaningful Life is the worst VeggieTales episode ever. Okay, here's why guys, Here's why I like think... the top five worst yeah. favorite. Yeah, okay. do, do you guys agree with that? Alright, here's... Personally, I don't. I think it's just okay, but here's why I think people don't like it. It's the same reason people don't like <laughs> Esther. It's different. It's slower, it's more serious in tone. In tone, you know, you know, it doesn't really give itself much way for many jokes, as per se, you know, like most episodes but i really like that honestly you know you know you know you know i really i really like that now does that mean it's perfect no let's not forget this episode gave us pregnant petunia which please get that out of my head no <laughs> yeah I'd never mention that again <laughs> why did you that was that's a very cursed image true i never seen it before good don't just don't pay attention. Yeah. Just basically just don't pay attention <laughs> when Petunia's showing those their the old photos. <laughs> no. Blair, she, Blair, she don't even know yeah, what I'm I, talking I about. Will say, I will say the songs for a Meaningful Life I did not like. I I like were, the two the conductor sings, but yeah, other than that, no. It's, they need to give hundred and ten percent effort on making the better songs. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Dude, That's you... a good one. <laughs> Dude, forgive me for my language, but uh, you know, those songs were mid. Yeah. Yeah, I'll agree with that. There's some there's some good really good ones, but yeah, there's also some really just meh ones. You were saying the conductor is the the ones he sang were good? Yeah. I I thought the other ones were I mean Dr. Gate. Wait, what? Uh I forgot yeah, his name conductor, is Gabe. What was he calling him the conductor? He probably had like the best idea for a song. But right. like Did he have a big idea? <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry. I mean, I hey, 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 like hey, if your boy can tell can tell funny puns, I can too. <laughs> also, is is Veggie Tales really ending? 
Uh, no. no, 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 no. We're gonna do a video about that. We 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 discuss. We will not address the elephant in the room, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, no. As of now, there is Veggie Tales is still a very thriving franchise. Even though oh, some, pe gonna... even though some people don't want it that way. I don't want it that way. <laughs> Their new episodes are trash, dude. Yeah, but I agree. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. All right, but yeah. Now we need to finish the lesson. Because this episode's probably been like an hour. Let's see, when did I even start this call? Does it say, Laris? An hour ago. Okay, so yeah, this episode's been probably been going on a little too long. Because we still got to read the comments from the last week's episode. That's okay. Yeah. Sorry, right. I held you guys up. No, 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 no. Interesting discussion. Just, Laris, remember to kick who you out when this episode's good. Done. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> okay. so. All right, so the lesson. Being content. Like I said earlier with the story, this is something that really does hit really close to home for me, and I think that's why I think I love this episode more than I really probably should. But like, and I feel like they do the lesson just so well, cause like it's just it's something that we all, especially you know, you know, like the older you get, maybe even the younger, I don't you know, cause you know, it's just like how impactful is your life, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, and and. Okay, LP, do not cry on the podcast. Okay, please don't do that. <laughs> but like, that but would like, be funny. but like, one one common thing, you know, you know, you know, in our lives, is like, what is the meaning? You know, you know, you know, why are we here? What's what's the point? The point, you know, you know, would life really be better if I, you know, just went down this path? And I feel like it's stuff like episodes like this that are really. You know, you know, you know, reassuring that at the end of the day, you know, you know, God's got your back and he knows every step you've taken, <laughs> taken in. There's a reason for it all. And I think that is just a, a wonderful, wonderful message, message for anyone. Wow. Well, well, Meaningful Life wasn't, you know, that great of an episode. Yes. Like, I still wish, like... VeggieTales new stuff had as good of like lessons uh, as the old oh, man. I agree I definitely agree with that. Like, <laughs> like yeah, like, like even the twenty tens episodes, yeah, even like the terrible episodes, like like as much as I hate Sweet Pea Beauty and I think that they did the message really corruptly, like it was still an amazing message that really should have been done way better. Yeah, but like, you know, even with some of the ones that weren't good, like the older right. ones. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you had, you had, you had entertainment, and then you also mm -hmm. got exactly. a lesson. And exactly. Most yeah. Most people I knew would like, like after they finished an episode, be like, "So what did we learn about?" Right. Yeah. You know? And then be like, "Okay, yeah, this is a good discussion," and you also like just enjoyed a full Veggie Tales episode. Yeah. Yep. Whereas now, like, I feel like, even with VeggieTales in the house and VeggieTales in the city, like, those were almost solely entertainment. Right, yeah. Like, there was no message in that saying, like, oh, you know, I f maybe the first few episodes they had lessons, and that's why they got on DVD, I guess. But, like, most of those, that was just like a weird show yeah and Veggie Tales in the city was like I didn't even bother watching all of it yeah it was bad I started then I just never finished it <laughs> you, well, I, yeah, even started, I, started, I even started I even started an analysis and I never finished it <laughs> remember that Larry? Uh -huh. <laughs> I watched like yeah. two episodes then like my brother was like hey can you hey can you help me do this or something like that and I just never came back that's just a terrible show <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I have, though, like, it's almost like if you and, took Spongebob and this is not saying Vegetables in the House was even that great in the first place but like <laughs> but like if you took Spongebob and like how it slowly got worse and worse but made it <laughs> because they were running out of ideas and that's, yeah, and that's what like, in the city was yeah and then like they didn't even focus on vegetables much right. like that and it, 
I was okay with Bacon Bill. I I thought it weird, but like I was okay with Bacon Bill. It was funny in the first couple seasons of Veggie Tales in the House, and then it just evolved into like, dude, like, why is it only Bacon Bill? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. That's one thing about Veggie Tales. I always say like, even if I don't like the episode per se, ninety percent of the time. I can at least respect the lesson. Except for League of Incredible Vegetables, you are just a rip-off of where it's gone. I'm scared. Please don't ever let me look at you again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Although, they did have a good song, though. Like, yeah. Newsboys. Yeah. 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 That only night me ripped off. Yeah, that Yeah, the Newsboys did a really good job. <laughs> but yeah, League, nothing about you is good. <laughs> Everything about it is good. I mean, except, like, all of it, though. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's the lesson of it's a meaningful life. Sorry if I got a little serious there for a second. It's okay. I know, I know, I know. People like Zany LP twenty four seven, but that's not what LP is like. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, so I guess we can go ahead and real quick, we're going to read the questions from last week's episode. There was not many. Sorry, we didn't do this halfway. I completely forgot. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got. Uh, we got zero. No, we got two, actually. First one's very easy. Uh, second one's also easy because I just answered for y'all. <laughs> but uh, how's everyone's day today? Boring. How, how are we all doing today? Terrible. I mean... Good. No, I'm, 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 I'm I mean, good. I'm good. No, your terrible day was... Not your terrible day was good. My, my day's mid. Yeah. Whereas this day is terrible because I ate a sandwich. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why. I got. Uh, no, I, I think I ate like the other half. I got. I got. Yeah. While well, I was on vacation, I got. I got sick. Sick and I ate Subway. So I don't think I can ever eat Subway again. Even though I know that wasn't. Why would co- you do that? Because it was like there was only like three restaurants around where we were. But yeah, I no like I didn't know I was sick, and then when I found out I was sick. I'd already eaten. I'd already eaten. <laughs> you know, it just was not. I never look at Subway Maybe again. Maybe Subway poisoned you. I don't, I don't, I don't think it was them, but just looking, it just, it wasn't a pretty site. It wasn't a VeggieLand podcast appropriate site either. It'll be a while before I eat subs. Anyways, anyways, but the next question was, was, uh, all right. What is your guys' favorite NFL teams? I said, I am a Panthers fan, Laris is a Giants fan, and Junior Boy is a Lions fan. Did I get that correct? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Do, you, uh, do y'all have anything to add? My favorite NFL team? Yeah. If any of y'all even watch sports, mm. I don't even know. So That's sad. Me and who you have known each other for I, two I years. I technically <laughs> have two because I'm biased. Okay, go ahead. I'm totally biased. Um, my grandpa, my grandpa's favorite team was Green Bay Packers. I hate the Packers. And they're not good at all. The cheese heads. Yeah, they're, they're not good at all. It, <laughs> I don't really like them that much, but uh, I didn't get to spend much time with my grandpa before he died. Right. So I've always been like, you know. Yeah. I, that's fair. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we all. Since it was his favorite. And what happened was he had a bunch of this stuff that was like Green Bay Packers themed, and I got a bunch of it. So I was like, okay, I go Packers. <laughs> uh, but then, like, then there's a team that me and my dad like, and it's the Las Vegas or Oakland. Las Vegas, Vegas now. I hate it. Technically, Las Vegas. I, I hate I hate that it's Las Vegas now. But um, yeah, it it's the Raiders. The Raiders, I love them. They're really good. I and like so them. Like, well, they're okay. My problem is that um, I feel like they get overhyped sometimes. Because, like, one of those you know how that could have forgotten. they, like, start off great, and then the second half of the season, they always collapse? True, but, like, we've been kind of loyal Raider fans for, like... Yeah. 
15 years before I was even born. And it's like, That's you know. Fair. Hey, yeah, fun one. fact. Hey, yeah, fun fact. The Lions play Giants and Panthers this year. Yeah. Fun times. What? So bracket rights between me, Larris, and LP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know LP we gotta like we gotta hang it just be there for LP because his po- franchise is poverty um I don't know what else to say <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about are you talking about what I, are you just talking about what I just <laughs> sent you are, are you talking about what I just sent you <laughs> no oh. oh that is interesting what I read <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't read it. <laughs> Way too long to read. I didn't even read it. No, I read it. <laughs> no, you didn't read the whole thing, I swear. <laughs> it was way too I much did. in there. <laughs> well, I, I would repeat it, but I'm not. No, I even, I even, I was lucky. Or do you want me to repeat it? No, don't. I was just, I just want to show you it. Actually, I was lucky I found the part that I had the scissor. There's just so much in there. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, this is me and Larry so just I found this funny thing. No, 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 you Discord. Don't have to <laughs> okay. I'll send it to you now. Hold on. Hold on, let me let me let me, me Alright, let's just let me end the podcast. <laughs> In the podcast before you guys die. Yeah. That's the <laughs> Plus, I can't really say what what he what was said. <laughs> All right, because it involves someone in Veggie Land. <laughs> oh no. All right. In the podcast, <laughs> yeah. Remember, kids, God made you special. He loves you very much. He loves you. Uh, the lines are don't get ratioed, ball. kids. Get ratioed, didn't ask, plus didn't care, plus, plus, plus your mom. Uh, all at one time. Alright, see you next week.